Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards. For this match I'm going to be playing as Tyranids, who are kind of at a lower rank for me this season, They're just under 1500 trophies. And I'm going to be running the Swarm Lord, who I have at level 2. He gets quite a bit stronger at level 3, so I'm hoping to upgrade him uh, in the near future. And this will be the third time that I've played uh, as the Swarm Lord, the third match that I've uploaded. Uh, rather, the first time I went with a ranged deck, the second time a psychic composition, and this time we're just going for pure melee. Curious to see how this will work out. This is a 150 point deck, and we've got the Tyranid Warrior in here. I do like this one quite a bit, it has poison. We've got the Horuspex with regeneration. We've got the Spore with taunt, and then the Jackal with scout. So... I played a couple matches with this already today. Um, the one that I played just before recording this video was against Tau, and it was a higher level deck than this, and I lost quite badly. So I don't know if this deck will actually be able to make it much further than 1500 trophies. We're up against Commander Farsight. Let's see what level he's at. He's at 3, so that's uh, fairly low. It's not as strong as the deck I just faced. Uh, we'll put down the Jackal there at the beginning. And we actually have the initiative, so whatever they're running, uh, they're going to have some pretty big units. Probably um, the like Riptide battle suit or something like that coming out towards the end. Uh, when Farsight deploys at the end, he's going to heal up whatever's on the field, so we'll have to watch out for that. They've got a broadside at level 7 in the middle. That's a fairly high level. And we'll be going for the melee attack, of course. Tyranid Warrior will poison that Crisis Battle Suit. And the Swarm Mode Special Rule debuffs the enemy attack type at the end of their turn by 15%. So since they'll probably be going ranged every round, I will be debuffing the ranged attack like so. Continue with the melee assault here. Taking down the Ghost Keel Battlesuit and Crisis Battlesuit. But the broadside survives and destroys the Jackal with its counterattack. Alright, we're gonna put down put down that spore over on the left side. And we'll see what they deploy. They've got Another broadside battle suit, and then this guy who can inspire them up. And they. Luckily, that spore absorbed two attacks there. But now the Swarm Lord is going to have to deploy himself. The enemy still has two bodyguards after this, so this is really not looking so good. I don't know if the Swarm Lord can really do a whole lot at this level. Alright, so, yep, I mean, we'll just have to keep going with the melee. We'll be able to get both of those broadsides down to pretty low health. So, if we can take them both out in one turn, that would be nice. We'll see what the next bodyguard is. Okay, a piranha. Might actually be able to take that down too, if the Tyranid Warrior survives. So, we're taking a lot of damage here, but... Yeah, with the counterattack, we'll be able to poison that piranha, and then this is actually looking pretty good, I suppose. All right, so three attacks here, destroying all of the enemies on the field, and now Farsight is going to deploy with his last bodyguard. We'll see which side it goes to. The got the Pathfinder. It's a very powerful ranged unit. All right, and I imagine they'll go with the ranged attack. They have a really strong melee attack charged up. Will it be enough to take out the the uh, Swarm Lord in one hit? Uh, let's see here. So actually we can do quite a bit of damage. So this guy 51 it might be a little dangerous if we actually if we go um, melee and are unable to actually kill him but We'll just go for it and see what happens. 
Yeah, so Farsight just barely survives there. Will he be able to deal 180 damage? He's only at 2 health, poisoned, and 141. Wow, okay, that was a little bit worrisome there, but uh, the Tyranids were able to pull through at the end. It was still a pretty, fairly close battle, though. I think uh, Shadow Sun is actually a little bit uh, harder to beat, perhaps, for this deck. I feel like this deck, I don't know, it, it could struggle against ranged decks, but I I want to say that it would do decently well against Bad Rook. Maybe not this specific build, but if you have more points available and threw in some bigger melee units, like uh, Old One-Eye, who I have at level 5, so obviously he's very strong. Uh, the Moloch is maybe a little bit too expensive to run with the, with the Swarm Lord. Stormlord is 64 points, he's quite expensive for a Warlord, so his stats are very good, but that means you can't run um, as many bodyguards as some of the other um, Warlords. So, uh, let me know what you have used with the Stormlord and uh, which attack type you like to combo with him, whether it's ranged, psychic, melee, or some mix of the three. Uh, let me know if there's something that has worked well for you. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.